Hey, this is Zach with Web3 Reviews. Thank you for being with us. Today, we're going to be talking about Ripple and XRP. Let's go. Remember that none of this is financial advice. The SEC's appeal will be dismissed. An XRP captain says that a god candle is coming for XRP. We also see this posted from Brett Crypto. The SEC missed the deadline. The other night, I was watching a live stream from Mickle. As we watched the deadline, and we couldn't believe it, nobody could believe that nothing had happened. And then the next day, it was like, oh, will they get more time? And it was totally unclear what was going to happen. Does the SEC just get to break the rules? And then it came out that no, they don't get to break the rules. This is over. The new reserve currency system is already in place for over a decade. Ripple has been laying the groundwork with XRP positioned to replace the dollar's reserve status, which will enable nations to bypass the dollar while still settling in USD through the RLUSD on the XRPL. This whole time we've been waiting and here it is. And what happens with the price? We're at 50 cents. Okay. Crypto Barbie says BRICS welcomes its summit with record gold prices and look at the huge gold colored doors. That definitely has to be a sign. Remember that BRICS currency will be blockchain based, backed by gold and XRP will bridge it. But then we got the negative noise, man. And it's community members who have been here for a long time who are frustrated and they're up and leaving for other assets for greener pastures, if you will. Kieran Kelly says Plev coins have more productive developer communities than the XRP community. So the questions are, does the XRP does the XRP community rely too heavily on Ripple? Are there enough feasible and financially attractive opportunities for developers to develop on the XRPL? What problems are developers happening with the XRPL? What problems are developers having? What problems are developers having with the XRPL? What's the pros and cons of developing on the XRPL? Can some developers give their insights or reviews? Why are third-party developers not building out the XRPL at the rate of some others? Why is there no funded XRPL foundation to speak of? It goes without that wise wind is exempt. The Zaman. The Zaman Zoom wallet. But then he goes on to say, a few people have messaged me asking if I've sold out on XRP or don't like it anymore. Couldn't be further from reality. I have been an investor for years and made the most ROI versus any other crypto because of the pump in 2017, 2018. The XRPL is, is a major public blockchain. The XRPL website states community driven, but is it really community driven at the moment? XRPL.org, lots of retail investors, but a distinct lack of developer community. A huge community watching the XRP price waiting for something to happen. Now we have XP market. We have the XP market where the AMM is. And we have some people building on there. We have some NFT projects. I know that Magneto just opened the door for meme coins to get built on XRP. And we already have the first ledger and meme coins coming out. There he is, Dr. Arthur. Kurja Kulov, CEO and co-founder at XP Market, a PhD in bioscience. So he's building on the XRP ledger. We have Expector as well. Expector is a project that's coming out with a metaverse and they've been building for years. DS replied to this. I could say some things about the subject and sure Daniel WWF and Brad Punkhouse could as well. We have the X-Punks. You can't forget about the toads and the X-Punks and we have art department. So we have NFTs going on on both the XP market and art department. We have things going on. Glenn Hoddle, need more riddles. What's fast and cheap and never goes up? People are, they're upset. I mean, the fact that Kamala just got $10 million in XRP from Chris Larson. First of all, it was his money. He gave away his own XRP bag. We see here that Elon Musk was asked about XRP. Do you envision the XRP ledger being incorporated into the financial institutions in the future? Elon responded, this is definitely not an endorsement or lack of endorsement for XRP, but I do think crypto by its very nature helps with individual freedom. There it is. And so Chris Larson, he's helping with Kamala's individual freedom. I mean, regardless what happens here, if she becomes the president, of course, you got four years locked in, maybe eight if you get that second term. But if you don't become president, you get these speaking gigs where you get paid nicely. You probably get another position in government. And you got all this money in XRP. Binance has recently changed Ripple into XRP. Finally, they've been calling it Ripple XRP for a long time. Now they're finally just calling it XRP. This means they know the lawsuit's done. It's time to move on with XRP. That's not created by Ripple, but given. So that's the thing is that XRP and the XRP ledger, they were created before the company Ripple. Ripple was gifted all of the XRP. That's the story. The Dark Defender, he's got some TA for us. He says that we set a structure for XRP over a year back, considering the first wave of 0.93 cents. The ones know, know that we targeted 0.89 and above when XRP was at 0.28. However, XRP closed wave one at 0.93. So we haven't decided on that, right? We set the limits and targets and then see it. So right after the initial target, XRP started consolidating. While many are trembling, we iterate XRP's wave three possible targets, which were at 0 0.88, 5.85, and $18.22, respectively. 
Of course, none of them were and still not investment advice. We then set an extraordinary level of 0.66 cents. Underlined with bold fonts, and this damn level is the strongest of all. And as soon as we see XRP above 0.66 a day, a week, a month, then we will see tremendous moves. 0.6649, the final boss, and was not and still not easy to eliminate. So the price action has been rejected here a couple of times. So at the moment, the weekly indicators give us a red signal, which could be false, but tells us that, guys, think about the support levels of 0.5286, 0.485 and the lowest probability of 0.397 as a double dip. Can XRP touch here again? Oh God, yes, but it is less likely. Although the weekly signal is red now, monthly wave trend is green, which trumps the weekly. This makes you think the weekly is a fake signal at this stage. As long as 0.48 and most importantly 0.39 is maintained, targets are clear for XRP, especially after 6649. Please do not underestimate and think what the hell is 66 cents. It is the red thin line. Less people remain in the ship we see, but I trust myself Ripple and XRP. Exciting times are ahead of us. The Dark Defender, coming in strong. So meth has made history, says Who's Crypto. This token on the XRPL just broke every convention, and in the space of five days has delivered 1 million percent growth from 0.02 to 215 XRP. Meanwhile, in the art department, people are buying and selling Sun Rebels. A Sun Rebel just sold for 100 XRP. I own two Sun Rebels. Let's go. Look at this from Vet. 1 billion tokenized equity and debt fund with Zonic Zinks is coming to the XRP ledger. Real world asset tokenization is here big time. The efficiency, fast and reliable value moving XRP ledger is the MVP. Believe in something. So we have this post here. A room launches 1 billion tokenized fund for data center investments on XRPL with Zonics with Zonic X. This vehicle will focus on data center investments across the US, United Arab Emirates, Saudi Arabia, India, and Europe, claiming to be the world's first combined equity and debt tokenized fund. And this was posted from Coindesk. We have Versan from Black Swan Capital saying the US government is offloading its debt onto you with endless taxes and inflation. Meanwhile, smart money is shifting into XRP, recognizing it as the future's only stable alternative as the current system crumbles. What he said about the taxes and inflation is true. I mean, if we look at the national debt, it's just going through the roof. It's insane. We're going to look at this from the Dubai FinTech Summit. Andrew De Vilbis says, like the majority of us, you eventually have the epiphany where you realize the magic of this technology is being able to bridge currencies and assets, aka global swaps. Asset to asset is the killer use case of crypto. Even Gary Gensler himself understands this. The gentleman speaking is not affiliated with Ripple, but I'm using this video clip to showcase how we are all eventually led to the bridge. What he's explaining here is already an embedded functionality of the XRP ledger from the auto bridging to the smart path routing. This federation of payments and assets will disrupt and enhance global markets. Let's listen to this. Yeah, make, I'll make it quick. Yeah. Let's say you wanted to buy $100,000 worth of something. They want to use Tether. You have $50,000 worth of USDC, and you have $50,000 worth of Tesla stock. Imagine being able to compose in real time in a single transaction all of the nested transactions necessary to swap your USDC and, te- and Tesla stock trustlessly and escrowlessly into Tether and use that as the settlement thing that you email over and it settles immediately. The ability to kind of go cross-market in one market is just not something we currently think about doing. Right. Certainly not in real time. Yeah. And then we have the BRIC Summit. So the BRIC Summit has officially kicked off, says Mr. Mann. And we have the World Bank here saying that they feel the necessity to update their plumbing. While there's a lot of negativity out there in the XRP community right now, we have to look at what's happening geopolitically. We have the BRICs having a summit. We have the World Bank talking. Some people are saying it's the Bretton Woods 2.0. And that we're going to get a return to the gold standard, which is going to be pegged to a digital asset. I think XRP is going to be involved in this somehow. And that's why I'm here. I'm definitely not selling out of fear. Not at this point. We've come too far. Imagine waiting in line for a roller coaster for damn seven years and then hopping out of line because you heard something scary about the roller coaster. One guy got sick. One guy's wallet fell out while he was going around the bend. Not everyone's going to make it. Less people are on the boat like we read earlier. Thank you for being with us. Zach from Web3 Reviews. Until next time.